So we have just discussed what tertiary structures are, basically hydrophilic and hydrophobic interactions, but, but really interactions between residue, amino acid residue, in, in a more distant manner. So just characteristics coming together. So which of the following can be classified as tertiary bonds? So the first one we have is London dispersion forces between two long distance R groups. Is that going to be an, a, a tertiary uh, bond? Yes, that is going to be a tertiary bond because they're on the same amino or the same polypeptide and they're interacting with, with one another. And, and long distance is another, another hint that it is. So a hydrogen bond with a C, C, and backbone structure. Would that be a tertiary bond? That would not be a tertiary bond because hydrogen bonds, these are more of a reference to a secondary structure. The third one is a disulfide bond between S and S between cysteine on the same polypeptide. This is very important information and you'll figure out why I'm saying that. Yes, this too is a tertiary bond because this is an interaction between two amino acids in, in, in a distance or not, but it's, it's, a, it's, it's making tertiary, it's making a structure over there.